Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust narration or voiceover timing using Razor Edit in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I went over this exact same thing, except then I showed how to do this with tempo and tempo changes across the timeline. But now, with the Razor Edit feature being added to Reaper, it's so much easier to accomplish the same thing. So let's take a look. So I have a project right here with some narration or voiceover and some music underneath. And I've placed a marker exactly at zero and another one exactly at 30 seconds. Because this piece needs to be exactly that long. And as you can see, the voiceover or narration is too long, while the music is perfect. Exactly 30 seconds long. Let's hear it. I've known business people who are not realistic thinkers. Here's the good news. They were very positive and had a high degree of hope for their business. Here's the bad news. Hope is not a strategy. Realistic thinking leads to excellence in leadership and management because it requires people to face reality. They begin to define their target and develop a game plan to hit it. When people engage in realistic thinking, they also begin to simplify practices and procedures, which results in better efficiency. So like I said, the voiceover runs too long, so we need to compress it to fit the 30 second time range. And the quickest and more useful way to do that is using razor editing. On PC, hold on Alt, and on Mac, hold on Option. Notice the cursor changes to a razor tool, and then right click drag and select the whole area we want to compress or expand and then let go and that creates a razor edit. Now I want to tighten up the left side of the razor edit so let's zoom in and trim it back with the trim tool. This way our narration will still start in the same spot after we compress or expand it. So now we can go to the right side of the razor edit on PC Hold on Alt and on Mac, hold on Option. Notice the cursor changes to a stretch tool and simply drag it to the size we need. Notice how easily it stretches. Right about there looks good. Let's hear how it sounds at the end. They also begin to simplify practices and procedures, which results in better efficiency. Let's make it end a little later. And keep in mind that stretching this multiple times is the same thing as stretching it once. So it doesn't degrade the quality each time. Which results in better efficiency. That sounds better. Let's hear it from the top. I've known business people who are not realistic thinkers. Here's the good news. They were very positive and had a high degree of hope for their business. But I am hearing a sound quality difference when we stretch the audio. And we can improve on that by changing a few settings. If we go up here and hit this toolbar button, it opens up the project settings. And we can choose the project settings tab and adjust these parameters. The first one is the default pitch shift mode, which we should change to Elastic Soloist. Then we have the pitch shifter parameter, which we could change to speech. Then we have stretch marker mode, which we could change to tonal optimized. We're not really worried about transients, we're more concerned with the tone of the voice. So now it should sound a lot better, as it's stretched with the best algorithm for voiceover or narration. I've known business people who are not realistic thinkers. Here's the good news. They were very positive and had a high degree of hope for their business. Here's the bad news. Hope is not a strategy. That sounds a lot better. And now the length at the end is correct. Which results in better efficiency. Right at the 30 second mark. Let's say we want to adjust the speed of some lines individually. Let's zoom into this line and hear it. Here's the good news. Let's say we wanted to make this line like he said it 
slower. We could do the same thing. Just create a razor edit around this line and just stretch it to taste. But notice that this line isn't moving over to make room for the stretching. We could change that by going up here to the toolbar and turning on ripple edit per track mode. So now if we stretch this line using ripple edit, it'll move everything over to make room for the change. We could see it more clearly from here. We could adjust on a phrase by phrase basis how fast or slow the person spoke. Here's the good news. Let's play on from here. Here's the good news. They were very positive and had a high degree of hope for their business. Here's the bad news. Let's slow this line down as well. Just stretch it to taste. Here's the bad news. Hope is not a strategy. Now we could zoom out and adjust the whole thing again to take up the same amount of space. And again, it's not going to affect the quality to do this multiple times. Which results in better efficiency. So let's hear those two slow down lines. I've known business people who are not realistic thinkers. Here's the good news. They were very positive and had a high degree of hope for their business. Here's the bad news. Hope is not a strategy. Realistic thinking leads to excellence in leadership and management. So you can readjust each line, phrase by phrase, getting the timing just perfect, and then readjust the whole thing so it takes up a certain amount of time. If it needs to fit within a certain time range. Let's hear the whole thing back. I've known business people who are not realistic thinkers. Here's the good news. They were very positive and had a high degree of hope for their business. Here's the bad news. Hope is not a strategy. Realistic thinking leads to excellence in leadership and management because it requires people to face reality. They begin to define their target and develop a game plan to hit it. When people engage in realistic thinking, they also begin to simplify practices and procedures, which results in better efficiency. It's exactly the time frame we need, 30 seconds, and the sound quality still sounds good. So that's pretty much it. That's how to adjust the narration or voice of a timing using Razor Edit in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.